hey it's a gorgeous night and uh, i'm out at the land uh, welcome to the modern homestead um, i'm known as seed spreader uh, or bob you'll hear either one my mom calls me bob uh, seed spreader is just a name that i've had online in the homesteading community for decades uh, because i'm old you know so um uh met a lot of friends online and and uh it's sort of what they know me by um uh, from an old homesteading forum so uh anyways uh, this video is a little bit different uh earlier last week about a week ago um i went on a little journey uh, we're getting ready to for our off-grid property we're putting in a cabin and the build hasn't started yet you still have time to catch the build right from the start so uh, you'll want to do that um, but i have been looking for you know facebook marketplace it's your friend right i've been looking for a propane stove and you know i've seen a couple of them come up the typical sort of uh the ones that they call for camp you know they're they're uh the little 20 or 22 inch wide um apartment stoves and man they're sort of expensive for a propane stove that i'm not really sure whether it works or not and it's old and i've seen natural gas ones and well you know i can convert them over and that but I found an uh, off-grid, uh, and by when I say off-grid, I'm going to explain that in just a moment. An off-grid pink 1950s Dixie uh, stove, oven, range, whatever you call it, wherever you're from. I found one online for $50, and it was local to us. But when I say local, it's about an hour and 20 minutes away. That's local when you live in, you know, rural northwestern Pennsylvania, right? So um, I went and picked it up and uh, it was dirty. In fact, here's how dirty it was. Yeah, pretty gross, right? But let me tell you what, I thought when I first looked at it, I thought it was like rusty in that, but it was really just that much. The grease was caked on and the color and it, it was just, it was gross, okay? So did a little work. And I think that you're going to like the results. So I hope you'll join me and uh, enjoy the show. Um, you know, like I say, I'm not a professional at this. Uh, hope to get better at it. Hope video gets better. Um, but I do want to remind you, um, you know, that for give you thanks, first of all, for stopping by. Uh, secondly, I remind you to like and share, comment below. Uh, if you don't like it, tell me you don't like it. That's fine. I think you're going to like the stove when it's done. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, come back and watch. Join us on the journey. Uh, we're getting ready to start the cabin build here soon. Uh, we've got, um, you know, some more uh, rain this week. So I'm really looking to do some prep work and leveling up the ground where I'm going to uh, put the cabin. Um, I've got the tractor out here and everything. You may have seen some of those videos, me moving it out here and that. Uh, but yeah, um, getting ready to start it and we want you to join in the journey. And I hope you do. And God bless you. Thanks for stopping by. Give me a thumbs up. This is a Dixie oven. I've got to learn more about it. It's pink. Not sure if you can tell that on camera or not. It's very dirty. Um, it's got some dirt and grime, a little bit of rust on these sides. Uh, overall, wasn't taken care of. I mean, still solid. It just has some grime really built up in there. It's a propane stove and oven. I've got the grates and everything for it and this is going to go out at our camp and I'm going to do a little refurbishment on this. I'm going to get this cleaned up in here. Now um, I did get to see it work so I know that it does work. The grates and everything like I say I've got them in this garbage bag actually. So I've got some work to do cleaning We'll determine what the next steps are, but it's a $50 stove and oven, uh, works off grid. And we're going to try to fit this into our cabin and see how it goes. 
there's like I say some work you know it's uh, earned its living so yeah sort of interested to see what's going on here all right so I believe that these I think it has it maybe uses like four pilot lights individually let's see what we can figure out here back that up a little bit and get down in here i think if you look right there you can see up in there and it looks like there's a check valve right there that you turn on and off for that um i'm gonna get it hooked up here in a bit and see how that works this is the cord that won't ever get used by us for the clock and the lights, the light inside the oven, and then these uh, couple of extra ungrounded receptacles. So, like I said, it's a Dixie, and I think, I think that I'm going to try to get some information on it, but I think it's from the 50s. I think it's from the 50s so we've got some work to do this thing is dirty Let's see about maybe popping the top off if we have to see these actually have trays might be able to pull those trays out and clean those up if you see this this down here is a tray and it looks like it might I have a couple of screws or something on those that uh, oh they might just lift lift out. All right, well that's going to be dirty work when we go to do it. And so the way this is dis distributed the gas comes in here and then it goes around and you can see how the tube goes to the front where all the knobs are and that controls see there's a tube that comes up underneath here to here and then that, that controls and sends there's a tube that goes out to the back to the back burner and then one to the front burner on each side. Actually, it looks worse. I mean, it's dirty, but it looks worse than I think that it really is. So this is going to be one of the projects. Yesterday we picked up a wood burner. I'll get uh, I'll get some video of that. And we're making some headway towards getting that cabin, getting the stuff ready for the cabin. The cabin itself is going to get moved out shortly to the land. We have it over at another piece of land, and it's a 12 by 24 shed that's going to be converted into a cabin. And then we're going to have shed roofs off the shed to make the cabin big enough. But right now it's going to be 12 by 24, and then when it warms up, we'll, we'll add to that. So pretty excited. This is a, it's a project. I'm off from work this week, and we brought this back to the house. We're going to get it cleaned up. So it's a cold day out today, probably about 25 degrees out. You can probably hear my tractor running outside in the background. I'm out here in the garage at the house uh, working on the stove here. And I had pointed out, a uh, tractor, by the way, is I'm just trying to get warmed up because I'm going to take a 40 minute ride out to land instead of loading it on my trailer and driving it out. I'm gonna, going to uh, gonna actually drive it out there. I don't know how wise that is, but Regardless, uh, I s showed you this a little bit earlier, the uh, new stove, so it's a Dixie range and oven, and it has these grease catchers underneath where the burners go, and I was messing around trying to clean one, and I found this out, and I thought it was pretty cool, so you can pull them out. They look like they're still in pretty decent shape. 
So I've got to scrape them off and clean them. Not sure. This one here, same thing. take all this stuff out of here. I would assume this lifts out of here, but we'll see. I should probably put the camera down and figure this out. So I'll be back. Okay, so I was on the right track. It was just heavy. So it's got this really big plate on the bottom of it. And I was trying to figure out where it might be. Pilot down here. This is pretty cool. See that? So it looks like you can reach down and light the stove uh, right through this way. It would be and so, it's not horrible in here. I have to see what that is, what's going on there. Not sure what that is. We'll see where it goes up top here though. And then you can see the drawer for broiling in the bottom so yeah I, I'm I think there's gonna be some spots where the ceramic enamel uh, have some issues but we'll figure out how we're gonna deal with that I mean you can see the grease and dirt there I gotta get the garage warm enough to really degrease it though so we're gonna keep working you know those videos where they talk about like things are satisfying? This is sort of satisfying the way that this is peeling off of there. <laughs> and, and underneath looks pretty nice. Let's see how that works on the rest of the oven. I think we'll have to get in some degreaser on on this uh, glass here. And I don't know if this, if we'll ever use the other. I think we will though. I think we will. We're talking about possibly renting this out for uh, Airbnb. So who knows, maybe somebody else will use the oven also. We'll make sure, I've got this idea. I've got this idea in the cabin. When I do this stuff of creating like a QR code and we're gonna have to deal with how to get service out there and that but uh, i know that'll happen in the future but like a qr code next to the oven and people can go watch the video of like oh man this is what this oven looked like before and here's what it looks like now yeah i don't know if that's a good idea or not oh that was gross now look at it who knows anyways we're gonna keep working all right so this pilot comes through up to here and underneath there you can see there's a nut i'm going to take that off i already took it off of this side so you can see that's disconnected then we're going to take this whole thing out and this whole thing out clean those up then we'll have easier access down into the oven top here Went down to my local store, Dick's Outlet Store. It's like just a local store. It's cool. I'm gonna. I'll, I'll talk about that more in the future. But I got some of this uh, Rust-Oleum concentrated cleaner and degreaser stain remover. So as you can tell, I've been scraping in there. I took off the plate. I have to be careful though, because I'm like taking off the actual printing. So I just pulled it out so I could work a little more. I'm gonna keep spraying and degreasing 
and cleaning this thing up. And we'll see what we get. Hey, that looks pretty good. All right, I've got a lot more work to do. Okay, so I pulled the clock and power center, I don't know what it's called, out of here, um, just because I want to get back in. And look at the years of grease that are built up there. So I took the back off. That's the back there. And I don't anticipate, like I said, that we're gonna use this, leave it plugged in. And this is some pretty old wiring, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna just, uh, you know, take it apart, snip it or anything. I'm gonna leave it all together, I think. But I wanna get it cleaned from behind there. And as you can tell, we're making headway here. But anywhere there's a joint, there is just grease inside those joints. And I don't know, I may, I may take the top off of it and clean that too, we'll see. Because there's, I don't know, this is from what I can see looking online, it's a 50s. I guess it's a Dixie. And it's from the 50s and I mean we're looking at you know 70 years 65 years of Greece but making headway really actually uh, pleased with how it's coming out uh, everything's solid um, I am having some difficulty on this side on these screws because I'm pulling out the uh, pilot sort of support and burner and I'm gonna clean those up I got one of them down here from this side I'm gonna clean those up I'm probably gonna paint them a little bit um, but I'll probably have to cut some these just use some old uh, machine steel with you know flat heads not a great screw but they probably didn't anticipate some dude in 2023 was going to be taking this thing apart and working on it. So we're going to keep going. I had to cut some new... cross threads in these so that I could get them out. So now I have to work to hold the nut underneath these and continue taking this out. All right, so I just uh, took the wing nut off. I've got three of them off now, um, and that's for this. Command center, I still have two screws I gotta put in. I'll put those in in just a moment. So one more wing nut, it's down over here. It's a uh, uh, it's, well, just rip my glove, but it's sort of, uh, it's turning the, what's supposed to be the fixed bolt that it goes on. So I'm probably gonna need two hands to do that. And, uh, you saw how much grease was here behind the command center. And I can only imagine what's gonna be, yeah, underneath here. It's gonna be interesting. So, I didn't really plan on on doing this uh, when I bought it. I was like, well, it's an old stove. I'll clean it up a little bit. But as I get into it, I'm having a lot of fun, sort of, you know, make it look as good as I, I can. You know, there's there's wear on it. There's stuff chipped off. It's it's not ever gonna be a showpiece, but it can sure be a lot better than it is. You can see, I gotta clean all the grease off of the front of the plate here too, but I cleaned it behind it. All right. Again, carrying on.
All right, so I've got the top off. It's laying here, and you can see it's still plugged in. Um, I don't know what, what the other plug is for there. I have no idea. But anyways, that's a distraction. So I'm letting it hang like this because I want to be able to clean it underneath here and up here. And just look at that nastiness. So this is going to be the cleanest 70-year-old stove. I'm going to get, this is, you know, road dirt because it was in the back of the pickup truck when I drove it home today. But you see some still some stuff in there. We're making headway though. Cleaning this thing up. See what it looks like when we're done. Okay, I just pulled the badge off. We'll clean behind that also. See how gross that is too. And <clears throat> I'm gonna have to go over. So it's, it's so greasy and grimy that I have to do this in stages. So I gotta go through and get like the big chunks. I mean, you can see chunks, chunks, big chunks of stuff out. Then I need to spray it down, wipe it down. Then I need to do a final wipe down after that that gets rid of sort of the haze from using the stuff that I am to clean with. Um, because the, you know, you can't change out the rags often enough. So, yep. Yeah. It's going to look a lot better though. Call it quits for the night. Here we are. We'll finish it up tomorrow, and then I'm going to try to get a regulator and some tubing and get this thing hooked up and all fired up everywhere. Pretty happy with it so far, though. Okay, well, we're going to take this apart, get it cleaned up. I ran a wire wheel over it a little bit where I could reach, just so I could get to the screws. But you're gonna take it apart, clean it up, and then put it back together. All right, so clean that up. Let's put this stuff in, and then these legs fit down into the holes on there. All right, we'll keep moving. Okay, got propane hooked up to it, just a 20 pound tank right now, checking it out. That all works. Let's see about the oven. Okay, so watch, I'm gonna turn it on, and then you just light it right here. Oh, I guess I gotta turn it on to low. Just like that. Hey, 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 what do you think about that? All right, 
Probably still have some air down in there. Little, these started off a little bit that way too. So we'll see how it works. Making headway. We're making headway. Got the sides, the top, this side, the back, everything cleaned. Cleaned everything on the inside. Wire, you know, wire wheeled it down. Cleaned up the burners. I ended up welding this back together. I don't know how it'll, you know, how well it will do. I've got to clean the door. So I'm going to have to take off the two handles and clean the door. Clean the inside up a little bit. I didn't put the racks back in yet. Cleaned up the knobs. But I want to show you how things are going. Turn on the stove also. I think this is going to work great out of the cabin. So I'm going to leave it off here. You probably really don't care about, you know, how clean I get the front door or not, but hopefully this summer you'll have a chance to stop over and visit me and give it a try. We'll cook some coffee on this thing. All right, from a very dirty garage with a working propane stove in it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe.